we've had a bunch of requests about how Vic's Vapor Rub could play a role in helping with hair loss. We've done the research so you don't have to. Stay tuned to learn about Vic's. Hey, it's Leon here from HairGuard.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. If you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button and all the links of everything that we mentioned in this video can be found in the description below. So let's get started. Today, I'm going to discuss a hair treatment from a familiar source, VIX. Firstly, I will tell you what it is, then I will describe the science behind the supposed treatment, and then I'll finally tell you how to use it. But just before I do that, if you're worried about your hair loss, thinking of applying VIX to your hair, which sounds a little bit of a crazy thing to do, a better option would be to take the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. You'll answer a few short, simple questions about yourself, and then you'll receive free, expert advice on how to regrow your healthy hair. But first, what is Vapor Rub? Vapor Rub is an item that every household has. This cheap, over the counter ointment has been used for years to treat those nasty winter coughs that affect us all. Vapor Rub is a blend of natural ingredients and synthetic ones that could actually cause irritation. Now, the body product has a variety of uses, ranging from alleviation of joint pain to treatment of insect bites. This so called miracle ointment has many more uses that are being discovered day by day by ordinary people and scientists alike, but is hair growth acceleration really one of them? Let's take a look at the ingredients that make up VIX and what the science says about them. The four key natural ingredients are camphor, lavender, eucalyptus, and menthol. Lavender improves blood circulation around the hair follicles as shown by a study by Lee, Lee and Kim at the Korean Society of Toxicology. The purpose of this study was to determine the hair growth effects of lavender oil. The lavender oil group showed a slight increase in the number of hair follicles compared to the control group. They also showed deepened hair follicle depth and moderately thickened dermal layer. Even though this study showed positive results, it was performed on mice, so it is unknown if the same results will be mirrored on humans. Now, camphor increases the blood circulation inside the hair follicles, which can increase the rate of hair growth and the strength and durability of hair. The camphor that vapor rub contains is synthetic camphor, so the additives could actually damage your scalp as it is regularly used to create plastics and paints. Additionally, VIX contains eucalyptus oil. Now, according to a 2016 study tested on plants, eucalyptus has antimicrobial, antifungal and herbicidal properties. Advocates of using eucalyptus oil to apply to hair suggest that it could stimulate hair follicles. And last but not least, menthol can get rid of the irritants that stunt hair growth and provide room for hair to grow easily and quickly. Now, these ingredients show promise, but the effects that they create will likely to be only minimal and not very visible. But what makes it different to other hair growth products? Well, the main difference between Vapor Rub and other products is how affordable and widely stocked the product is and how many other uses that it has. This makes it easy to obtain, but the effects of the products on hair have never been properly researched. A better choice would obviously to purchase a professional and scientific hair treatment product. You can try massaging this into your hair and the most common way to apply it is directly to your scalp. But the reality is, is it won't make much of a difference. Now, what are some of the positives of using Vapor Rub? Well, Vapor Rub is both affordable and widely available. So if you run out of the product, it's very easy to obtain. For example, Vicks Vapor Rub is only about four pounds or about $5. What about the negatives? Well, Vapor Rub does contain mostly natural safe ingredients. However, it does contain some ingredients that could potentially cause scalp irritation, depending on how sensitive your scalp is. Petroleum is an ingredient in Vapor Rub, and petroleum can create a thick film on hair, attracting dirt and enhancing the appearance of dirty hair. Additionally, the film that petroleum creates blocks out a lot of moisture, a reason why some people stay away from Vapor Rub. Now, taking into account the pros and cons of this product, we here at HairGuard believe that Vapor Rub will only create minimal growth in your hair, with some of the synthetic products damaging your scalp and slowing down hair growth. Now, furthermore, the petroleum could create a dry scalp that could lead to dandruff and a cracked scalp. The natural ingredients of Vapor Rub that can aid hair growth don't constitute a large part of the product, so the effects will be extremely minimal. Now guys, that's what we want to share with you on Vicks Vapor Rub. 
If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit subscribe. If you want to take the Hair God Hair Loss Quiz, click the link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.